a yearly financial discussion between me 40M and my wife 41F opened up a much stickier discussion about her own financial independence. How do I approach discussions about this? Summary My wife and I have been married almost 20 years. I make Apex. A lot more than my wife in income. We share everything financially and for the family, and in the past few years got to the point where we have significant discretionary income each month that doesn't have to just go to savings, necessities, and family goals. As part of a discussion about reorienting our financial system to accommodate that reality, it I think for the first time dawned on her that though we are financially strong together, and I am financially strong on my own, she would not be in the same position if we weren't together. Her feelings are absolutely justified, and I'm trying to sort out how to support her and preserve the almost all good things about our relationship. Longer story I grew up poor. She grew up middle class. We have different spending habits, but not materially so. We both grew up in pretty conservative religious households, so the inner script around marriage was pretty traditional. We are no longer conservative or religious. We got married young and were paycheck to paycheck for the first decade of our marriage. That actually made financial discussions easy because we were just trying to keep on top of needs. It was all just ours. About 8 years ago we were making similar incomes. She has her own business. I work in a high status profession. We had the opportunity to relocate for my work which would triple my income, and as part of that she altered her business a lot i.e. closed an office, voluntarily decided to work less. We had young kids at home and a significantly higher income so it made sense at the time. She's always maintained her professional license and kept some clients which has always been a comfort for me because if something were to happen it's not just me we're depending on. Since that move 8 years ago, our family income has significantly increased just for context, it went from mid 100s to about 500k in that time period. All of that increase has been in my income hers has remained constant. That high of an income over a sustained period has lead to lots of good financial outcomes we have a lot of equity in our valuable house we live in a whole area with expensive housing, and currently have about 50% equity in our house. Our retirement savings is 100% on track without us having to fund over 20% into savings annually which we do automatically. We have an HSA, 529s for the kids, emergency fund, etc. We aren't perfect, but at this point we could weather some significant financial storms and remain on track. In terms of our interpersonal relationship, we are very close and warm. We got married young and lucked out. We love each other very much. We are very good friends. We share a lot of non-economic responsibilities. Tactically, we're at about 50-50 i.e., if we're just dividing up tasks but she definitely carries around higher mental load. She keeps the family running, does her own work, is creative, a great mom, and a great wife. We've been very happy. This year is the first year where we looked at our finances and realized that after we save sufficiently for the future and fund the lifestyle we want for our family, there is a significant amount left over. That's probably been the case for a few years, but the way we budget had us concentrating on shared financial goals i.e., home projects, vacations with only small monthly allowances for personal expenses. We both started realizing that maybe our tendency to make all joint decisions wasn't aligning with our own personal preferences as much. That prompted a pretty healthy discussion around yours mine ours and we agreed to modify our budgeting system to create a lot of flexibility for both of us to spend money on ourselves or the family without having to both approve each expense. We'd still treat it as if we're contributing equally financially which is how we've always done it, so there wouldn't be any unfair treatment. Other context is that I've been reading a lot about personal finance the last few years, and one of the things I've learned is just how meaning or friend or individual savings can be for women in relationships, especially if they are the lower income. I never plan to separate from my wife, but I think I'm starting to realize that if we did separate, my high income would continue and I would be just fine, but she would be in a significantly different place. That's not something we've talked about until this week but it's been at the back of my mind. The budgeting change to more individual discretion in spending was big for us, so we started talking about ground rules. Except for small personal amounts, we'd rather run everything through the joint budgeting system we use YNAB for visibility. I said offhand that I know how important personal savings can be for women, so I'm flexible on that rule if she wants to save in her individual account. When she asked why I think she'd want to do that and I explained, I think she had a bit of a aha moment. I figured she was already carrying around those ideas, but it seemed like she'd never contemplated the alternate reality where something happens to us and one day she's completely on her own. A note here that we have good life insurance and plenty of assets, so if I were to die she and the kids would be 100% set. I think the sticky issue is divorce. Like I said, all of our assets are joined and we take a 50-50 approach to everything. If we were to separate, she'd have significant assets, 
though a lot of that is in tax-deferred accounts and home equity. She would have an unsustainably low income, at least at first. She also owns a business and it's not like she's been a SOM she can make the choice to just start working more and the income would come back in over time, but she's having some real feelings about whether she can consider herself financially on stable ground when that stability assumes future income I would earn that she wouldn't be entitled to if we separated. Yesterday she said something like what have I done to myself? It all makes me very sad. We've been a partnership. I'm willing to give her anything. Her value in our family and our relationship is high. We currently dump all of our net income post 401k and payroll deductions income hers and mine into the same account and then divide up from there for budgeting. I'd be more than willing to have it auto deposit 50-50 into our separate accounts and then bring the household budget back from there. I'd sign a post nuptial agreement if she asked I don't think it would actually do anything since everything is joint and we're in a community property state, but I'd do it anyway. But something tells me that this is deeper. She doesn't care about the cash I think she's realizing that her non-economic contributions to our shared enterprise are valued by me, but not as valued by society. I'm not sure how to make her comfortable with being in a relationship with a higher earner now that we've opened up this Pandora's box. Final context is that, despite growing up conservative and religious, she's now quite liberal and a feminist. I think the comparison of our situation her primary contribution to our family is not economic to her ideals women should be independent and stand on their own has been a struggle ever since we had kids. I think this discussion just opened up a larger can of worms. Last thing I'll say is that I choose her every day of my life. I think our discussions over the last week have made me realize that she might not be able to say the same thing not because she doesn't love me, but because her not choosing me has significant financial ramifications for her. That's something I'm trying to wrap my head around. Have any of you been down this road had these hard discussions? I want her to be happy emotionally and financially, and I want her to be able to choose me without feeling financial duress. Please help me solve this. She's grappling with her own feelings around her contributions, her identity, and what true partnership means. Even though your intentions are pure, I can understand why she might be struggling with feelings of constraint or lack of autonomy, especially given her values around feminism and independence. This isn't just about money, it's about her sense of self. Have you asked her directly what she needs to feel empowered and a choice in this relationship? Maybe some open and vulnerable conversation, without trying to solve it, could help you both get on the same page about what fulfillment looks like for her.